I just didn't feel like myself anymore. And I make mistakes. I'm feeling better for this year. Should I eat? Or trying to fix this problem. So I'm currently using the Good Morning Good Life Planner. I actually designed this for Amy Landino, her um, Gatlu team. And I designed this a while ago. I haven't used it until this year. I go through planners like, I'm always switching around planners. That's why I designed my own planner that's not really formatted, but guided so you don't waste pages. You just use it as you go when you want it when you need it i have like a million different planners i'm using one and i just used it in the middle of february and beginning of march i didn't like start it in the beginning of the month or anything and that's okay like i fill everything in this planner that i designed was really inspired by amy and her not just inspired guided by and and she really forethought all the content that she wanted in here and and i just formatted it for her to fit within this planner. So she has some amazing ideas of how to get started with your day and to you know move forward to live the life that you want. That's her slogan. So in the beginning, we have good morning moments. We have events and birthdays, people to reach out to, um, this month's goals, of course. And then my favorite is a timeline map. So you can kind of put in what your morning routine and night routine is. Um, and she goes over this on her videos and everything. So it was really fun to make. I'm excited to keep working on something for the future with her for like new products and new journaling tools because that's my favorite, my favorite thing, just stationary paper tools and planner tools, the best. Back to my to-do list today. Some things that I want to get done today. I have therapy. I want to finish the dishes. There really isn't that much to do. It'll take me like 15 minutes, 10 minutes maybe. Um, work out, shower, make the bed. I need to pack and ship orders. Um, I need to make some digital products that I've been working on. I need to finalize those and then promote them on social media. Um, I need to plan my classes for the week. So I, I do know the outline of what I'm gonna do for that, but I wanna make sure I have everything printed and ready. And then I wanna do a personal study today, um, read my novels that I'm reading. And um, I also borrowed a Switch game from my friend yesterday that I would like to hopefully tonight when I'm, before I get ready for bed, just kind of play a little bit of that that would be fun so that's the goal we'll see how much i get done today and then also you have a to-do list at the end of the week so here i just put things that i would like to get done whenever there's time before the end of the week so that is uh deep clean the fridge i want to mop the floor because i did just mop um but i didn't steam mop so i kind of want to go over it again i want to take some product shots this week um i want to make some stickers i already designed them but i have to actually print them out and cut them a bible study that i do this week my personal stuff i want to take some photographs of some of those pages i don't share everything that i study because it is a personal bible study so you know i like to keep a lot of that private but there are some pages that i like to share that are cute or fun or you know maybe others can take some inspiration from and then i need to bill some clients so that's also something to do before the end of the week because it is beginning of march wednesday is the first of march i think so um i need to send some invoices out so we'll see what we get done today i don't expect to do all of this today Okay, so I already made my bed. I have therapy soon. So I'm just gonna get ready for that. Make sure I'm in a good spot, so comfy place. The sun is coming in and out, um, which is exciting. Hopefully I'll have a lot of sun for my workout because that's like energizing. Just made a peppermint to tea. My therapy sessions have been very career centered. Obviously a lot of what I've been talking about earlier um just kind of like getting my mindset back creative and feeling motivated and feeling like i'm not faking i was actually thinking about doing 
therapy a little bit less often um, because I've been feeling good and my medication's been so helpful for me. I'm a supporter of you taking medication if it is what you need and if it helps you. I love like natural things and finding like talk therapy or meditating and exercising and eating good foods and all those like health those like natural ways to like help your body and mind um, prayer having that connection spiritually but i'm also very much a fan of medication if you need it i just didn't feel like myself anymore and i didn't want my physical health problems to start affecting my mental health more than it already was so the medication I'm on has helped me both with my physical symptoms and therefore my mental health. Having so many good days just in a row, great for me personally. I usually read every morning. I did not get to read today. I think I'm gonna read Dorian Gray. Annotate a little bit for fun. <laughs> Uh, if you're wondering what that cage is over here, it is my baby boy, Bunny, named Theo. He is my work partner. He's who I share all my thoughts and um, creative processes with every day and consult with. Ooh, also, I made some new business cards okay so let me show you um this is the back okay so pause i make mistakes and when it comes to my own business cards i was rushing and to defend myself i had covid i did make a mistake and i ordered like i don't know a thousand or something um, so I'm not really happy with them and a professional professional girly would reorder these But I'm not going to do that. I don't want to be wasteful. I'm just gonna be honest. I made a mistake I wouldn't do this for a client. I would obviously very much reorder and maybe not work on it when I have COVID but I thought I could um, get stuff done the issue was I Don't love the color on the background here this green, it was supposed to be like a foresty green and it's just not working. Second issue, I didn't include lead. Who does that? I've been doing this for 10 years. I forgot to include bleed. Uh, so that means there's like a tiny, tiny, tiny white border along the edge of the card. And it's so disappointing when I saw that, I was like, you're kidding. I made, I made a bleed mistake. I made a decision to make my business card double-sided with the shop on one side and then my graphic design little tidbit on the other side. So I added my photo to it. I don't know if that's innovative or just like cringy. I haven't seen a lot of people do that, um, but I'm liking it. Maybe it's just because I like this photo of me but I like the idea of it. Um, so yeah, it says letter key, stationery and art, where to find me online, and then the back, my photo, my logo. Again, I don't know if it's too much. I did this on COVID, okay? That's my that excuse. I had COVID, don't judge me. So I have on the side kind of like what I offer. It's not everything I offer, but kind of what I'm most um, experienced in. Logo design, visual identity, packaging design, editorial design. You would think that I wouldn't have a bleed issue um, if I'm a professional.
So let's see where we're at and what we're gonna do next. I don't wanna do any of those things right now. I don't want to work out because I'm already feeling hungry. I will not have a good workout if I'm hungry. I have to think about what I'm gonna have for lunch that isn't gonna make me feel like groggier. Um, I could make a soup. I could have a smoothie. Protein smoothie. I need something without sugar because I think I've had the sugar content for the rest of the day. Like, I'm good on sugar. Um, I have like an egg wrap thing. I could have a chicken egg wrap. I have chips. Um, should I have lunch now? How about I pack and ship my orders, or I pack them, I'll ship them on my way out, but I'll pack my orders and then I'll have lunch and watch an episode of Grey's Anatomy while I eat. That's first, clean the desk, second, pack orders, third, eat lunch. Yeah, I can do that, I can do that. Okay, so I think I can talk a little bit about the shop and what's been going on with Letter Key. I still love it. I still love creating things and posting and sharing and sending your orders and like making a little gift, sending my baby out into the world. But this past year, I really was focusing on my health and feeling bad about it, to be honest, kind of feeling guilty that I haven't been focusing a lot on Letter Key and like making as much like new design as many new designs and um so i'm feeling better for this year it's making new products new new things i'm excited about it's kind of at a low moment i don't have as many orders coming through as i used to which also makes me feel bad it's just a lot slower and i still appreciate every single order so much every time i get a ding i'm just like oh, i feel so grateful that I get to do this and share with people and meet new people that like order things and it's honestly the best type of job I could ever ask for. Not my only job, I do a lot of things to sustain myself and pay bills because I could not right now live off of letter key but I'm okay with that because it helps me like just do things for fun a little bit and not have to charge too much if I have other sources of income. I have to feel okay with charging a little more on because they're not like necessary, I guess. When they're just things that are cute and like a fun, cute notebook, you don't have to buy it if you can't afford it. And I have to be okay with like pricing them enough for me to be able to make them. If you need an inexpensive notebook to make, you know, to change your life and take notes and, you know, be productive, you can get one. You can get a really inexpensive notebook and do a lot with it and it'll go a long way. So I do try to price my things um, according to my audience and like the, the people that buy my stuff. I do want to be respectful of, you know, their budgets. At the same time, I need to be able to make them. And being a small business, with not a lot of budget myself, or any sometimes. You know, making everything from scratch, spending my time designing everything and making it look presentable and, and I do everything on my own. It isn't worth it for me to make a lot of products that are going to be like affordable always. When I make stickers or notebooks or like mugs that are kind of pricey, um, especially when you buy them through Etsy because Etsy has so many fees now and just you don't go to Etsy thinking you're gonna find something cheap you know Etsy is for a custom item that someone put a lot of time into at least that's what it's supposed to be for and it, that's why it's, it's more expensive um, so I have to not feel bad about pricing my items higher because the people who can afford it will buy it and I don't want someone who can't afford it to like struggle to buy something from my shop. Uh, so I've also been working on a lot of digital items that are going to be more affordable because I don't have to produce them. Just download them, print it out at home or, you know, use them on your tablet. I'm working on doing more digital things so that 
a lot of people can access it. More affordable for me to make and more affordable for you to buy. I have to just, I have to just feel comfortable again with, um, I guess, promoting every day I get reminded that people really are um, appreciative and the community is so sweet. Obviously I'm doing this for friends that appreciate it and that you know want to support I guess so yeah that's a little update on letter key and what's been going on with the shop on to packing some orders this order is for Janae she ordered a ministry journal Thank you, Janae. This is for Kathleen, she ordered wedding stickers, wedding planner stickers. So these have like little doodles and then um, to-do lists of, or to-do tasks for when you're planning your wedding. So, you know, planning for a wedding, big deal, big deal. Labels, I'm only gonna do these two for today because um, I wanna get them out ASAP. So I'm doing these first two. Oh shoot, my printer's been acting up, so I hope this print, it's not printing. Is this a problem for now me or in an hour me? Should I eat before trying to fix this problem or will I not enjoy my meal because of this problem? That is the problem. It says it's looking for the printer, but right there i knew this was gonna be an issue i was just hoping that like over the weekend it magically fixed itself and it happens kind of because my computer's for sure connected to the wi-fi the printer is too because i reset it and reconnected it unable to look at printer just doesn't make sense it just does not make sense capstone series two no that's not the right one why is the printer not working nope okay problem for future me 